They died battling the worst fire in Arizona state history. Thousands of acres of grassland decimated by a deadly blaze. Low humidity caused by a recent heat wave combined with strong winds meant that nothing could stop the fire as it ripped through the tinder dry vegetation. We're what they call a high desert region. We have a lot of mountains and it's covered with brush instead of trees. We've been having an extreme drought and we've been having extreme temperatures. It's been nearly 120 degrees. And um, so the combination of the two is pretty deadly. Houses were evacuated in nearby towns and roads closed as hundreds of firefighters were deployed to battle the 20-foot high flames. 18 of the firefighters that were killed on Sunday evening were part of the same unit, a group of firefighters called the Prescott Granite Mountain Hotshots, a specially trained team. They were forced to deploy protective tents known as fire shelters, designed to shelter them from heat and flames, but the fire was too intense. It was later confirmed that another firefighter had also been killed. Typical of a fire like this, we send many, many crews from all over the state. The wildland crew from the city of Prescott, Arizona was deployed to that. And as a result of circumstances that I'm not aware of or, or have not been informed of yet, uh, our entire crew was lost. We lost 19 people in this wildfire. The cause of the fire is currently under investigation, but it's now believed that it was started by a lightning strike. James Banks, Sky News.